Hi, welcome to Import. In this video, we'll move on to the next unit of cost accounting that is labor, unit 3. Now, why it is important to control the cost of labor? As already discussed that cost constitutes of three elements. That is material plus labor plus expenses. So, labor is one of the important elements of cost. That is why we need to control the cost of the labor. So, I am going to write here, cost comprises of three elements that is material plus labor plus expenses. So, labor being, being one of the important element of cost that is why we need to control the cost of labor. Now, labor is divided into two parts that is direct labor and indirect labor. <clears throat> now, what is direct labor? Direct labor is that labor which is directly involved in the production process. The product you are producing is produced by that particular labor. So, the example of direct labor is wages paid to workers or the laborers. Now, we have indirect labor. Indirect labor is any other labor available in the factory, whether it is a low class or it belongs to a high class employees. The example of indirect labor is salary of a supervisor, wages paid to foreman or wage salary paid to clerks. Even if we are paying remuneration to the director, that is, all, that is the part of indirect labor. So only the labor which is engaged in the production process is an example of direct labor. Now what are the departments which are involved in labor cost and we can control the cost of these departments. So, first department is personnel department. Now, the work of personnel department is to recruit the labor, train them and place them on the job. They take labor requisition from the department, maintain employee history card, etc. Then we have engineering department. Engineering department helps in controlling working condition for each job department or process. They prepare plans for each job scheduled. They supervise production department. They conduct time, motion studies, job evaluation, merit rating, etc. Which we will discuss later. Now, we have this job evaluation. So, what is what do we mean by job evaluation? Now, job evaluation is basically done to calculate the relative worth of the job. Some jobs require physical abilities while other may require high degree of mental ability. So each job factor is given relative weightage and are allotted some points. Then different jobs are ranked according to the number of points secured and then their worth is ascertained. That is the job evaluation. Through job evaluation, we calculate the relative worth or the value of that particular job. Now, what are the different methods of uh, job evaluation? First method we have is point ranking method. Now, in case of point ranking method, now in case of point rank ranking method, uh, job evaluation is done on the basis of points secured by each job. Each job is basically broken into number of job factors like education, experience, skills, uh, duties, responsibilities involved in a job. Uh, weights or points are assigned to each factor by the evaluators and then we calculate the relative worth of the job. Then we have is ranking method. Uh, in this method, different jobs are ranked from highest to lowest according to their relative responsibilities and difficulties involved in a job. The ranking, ranking is basically done by the experts within the organization on the basis of their observations. Then we have is grading method. Grading method is an improvement of ranking method. Uh, in this, different jobs are classified into number of grades or groups by the committee. Then on the basis of uh, uh, grades or groups by the committee, on the basis of complexities involved in a job. And then, uh, sorry, uh, I'm going to start with the grading method again. Now, uh, grading method is an improvement over ranking method. Uh, according to this, uh, the different jobs are classif classified into number of jobs or groups by the committee on the basis of duties, skills involved in the job. Uh, this method is more uh, accurate than the ranking method since grading of the job is done by, uh, done by the experts on some logical basis. Then we have is merit rating. Now, what is merit, me, uh, merit rating? Merit rating includes appraisal of merits of an employee on the basis of quality or quantity of work done 
रिलायबिलिटी इंटेग्रिटी डिसिप्लिन नॉलेज एक्सेट्रा सो इन केस ऑफ जॉब इवेल्युएशन वी कैलकुलेट द रिलेटिव वर्थ ऑफ द जॉब वाइल इन केस ऑफ मेरिट रेटिंग वी कैलकुलेट द रिलेटिव वर्थ ऑफ अ एम्प्लॉय और अ पर्सन हु इज डूइंग द जॉब सो हेयर आर सम डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन जॉब इवेल्युएशन एंड मेरिट रेटिंग फर्स्ट जॉब इवेल्युएशन इज द असेसमेंट ऑफ रिलेटिव वर्थ ऑफ जॉब वाइल मेरिट रेटिंग इज असेसमेंट ऑफ रिलेटिव वर्थ ऑफ एन एम्प्लॉय जॉब इवेल्युएशन हेल्प इन स्टैब्लिशिंग अ रैशनल वेज एंड सैलरी स्ट्रक्चर बट मेरिट रेटिंग हेल्प इन फिक्सिंग फेयर वेजेस अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर एफिशियंसी और अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर परफॉर्मेंस जॉब इवेल्युएशन ब्रिंग्स यूनिफॉर्मिटी इन दी वेज स्ट्रक्चर बट मेरिट रेटिंग एम्स एट प्रोवाइडिंग फेयर रेट ऑफ वेजेस टू डिफरेंट वर्कर्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर परफॉर्मेंस और ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर एफिशियंसी then engineering department also conduct time and motion studies now time study involves determination of standard time for doing a job that is after considering their training and skills we determine the standard time which is required for doing a particular job and in case of motion study it involves determination of standardized or best method for performing a job it basically helps uh, in the elimination of waste movements which may result in fatigue for the employees now next we have is time keeping department time keeping department uh maintains the record of main, maintains the attendance record of the employees uh they are concerned with the uh, time in time and the out time of the employees also they maintain job time records idle idle time card etc for their employees next is payroll or paymaster department uh paymaster department is responsible for payment of salaries and wages to the employees on time so uh, we can see some points here that is it uh, is concerned with the competition of wages of workers of uh, uh, competition of wages earned by each worker and they uh, pay the salaries and wages to the workers and the last is cost accounting department cost accounting department is responsible for recording all the entries in respect of wages paid to the direct or indirect labor so recording part is done by the cost accounting department